Football managers wear their hearts on their sleeves, but few are more passionate than Martin Allen. Today, though, he appeared mostly relaxed and in good spirits. He takes over from Jill's legend Andy Hessenthaler, who remains at the club as director of football. I don't normally get jobs like this, to be honest. Normally I, uh, I get recruited when clubs have had a relegation and it needs a big change and a big turnaround and starting from scratch. But I think Andy Hesital has done a good job here. So it's a real challenge for me and something majorly different from what I'm used to. Uh, to add a few players and try and take them from eighth place up into challenging to go up. And uh, that's a nice challenge for me. Martin Allen is part of a large footballing family. His father, uncle, three cousins and son all played professionally. In all, Martin made 376 league appearances, mostly for QPR and West Ham. Before moving into a colourful coaching career, Gillingham will be his ninth managerial post. And Chairman Paul Scally admitted he believes his new manager has mellowed. It's no secret that I met Martin a few years ago and interviewed him for a role perhaps seven or eight years ago and I was hugely impressed then. Um, but it scared me a little bit, to be fair. Um, but I'm a bit more experienced now, and uh, he doesn't scare me anymore. <laughs> Having narrowly missed out on the playoffs in each of the last two seasons, Martin Allen knows promotion is not just expected, but demanded. He's up for it. Won't be tied anyone that gets in his way. Under new manager Martin Allen sees the Jills welcome Bradford to the priest field, and the club chairman says he's hopeful of success under new manager Martin Allen. We would be failing in our duty if we weren't trying to get out of this division every season. So I'm very, very optimistic. I think uh, we've got a very good management team now. Very excited by what Martin has brought to the club. I think we can see that in the spirit of the players and the way they've been playing and, and their fitness levels are improving. And I'm very optimistic that we'll have another very good season.